Hey everyone, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and uh, we got a question from one of our members on our website at homefarmideas.com, and uh, I just wanted to give a little bit more in-depth, um, you know, answers. Uh, this this actually um, the question was Brandon, uh, what's up, bro? <laughs> uh, he asked. Um, you know, how's the maintenance on this? And I mean, we're in the middle of summer. And if you look in there, there's not a whole lot of algae. There's some. See how it's it's building up a little bit around the uh, the edge there? On uh, I'll explain all that. But it's building up a little there. But as you can see, it's not like overgrowing all over the tank. And there's reasons for that. One, I have ghost shrimp in here um, that live on the bottom. And uh, considering the fact that they're ghost shrimp, it's really hard to see them. Um, but then two, I have two algae eaters in here are Picosimus, okay, and the Picosimus, what they do is at night, they'll come out and they will eat all the algae, um, out of here. Another thing you can do is you can get a snail, um, and you make sure you get the right snail. Don't get those little tiny snails, um, you know, that, uh, that you see in every pond and stream, um, because they will take over this whole tank. They'll add to the, the waste of this tank, though, which means more fertilizer for your plants, um, that I put through my drip system there. Okay, so um, basically the maintenance on this thing is zero, Brandon. Um, you just have to set it up right and you have to understand um, how fish tanks work basically. So if you've had a fish tank, you know that uh, you need to build up uh, uh, microorganisms and how you do that is by getting waste into the tank which they eat and in turn spit out clean water. Um, that's the short and the, <laughs> the short answer of it. So that, that is actually a filter, um, homemade, totally homemade. That's a cat litter container. And then what I connected to that was a UV, that's a UV light there. And it came with the pump that I connected down into here. And on, in here you have, uh, on the bottom you have sponges. And then on the, uh, just above, above that you have, uh, rocks like uh, larger pieces of gravel and then above that you have um, uh, uh, activated charcoal or, or uh, yeah so and then on top of that you have more sponges okay and so it basically sucks from the bottom up through all this through all that rock and everything and out through this hole here okay and so um, once the algae is established or once the microorganisms are established inside that uh, filter. They're also established all over the rocks and the gravel on the bottom. Okay, and they basically, there's just millions and millions and millions of them in here, and they they basically eat waste and they turn it into to clean water basically for the fish. So, um, so that's basically uh, how this thing works. It uh, It's zero maintenance. The only thing you gotta do is keep adding water because it evaporates. Um, and during the winter I have my Pull, uh, uh, a fish tank heater in there that uh, will heat this barrel uh, because where I live, it's in California but it gets cold enough to kill the guppies uh, the goldfish would be fine but, so anyways that's that's the answer uh, Brandon, it's it's zero maintenance uh, I'm going to post maybe just post this video on our on our forum and uh, go into more detail, uh, feel free to ask any questions man um uh, yeah, anything. Just ask anything. The water's actually the dirtiest I've seen it in so long, but that's due to summertime weather. Uh, it's when it heats up, it does get a little dirtier, but that's when the water changes come in, and that's when I, I connect my drip system to this, and then it goes in through my my, my garden basically. And uh, as you can see, it's booming. My potatoes. I can't wait to eat those. But anyway, that's it, bro. So God bless you, and uh, post your questions on our forum. And for everyone else, join us on the forum. Uh, it's starting to go off now. Um, so God bless you guys like always. And uh, um, Oh, the forum. Yeah, it's uh, homefarmideas.com. Just get an account, register for an account, and then look for the uh, fish fertilizer or the uh, guppy tank. Uh, I'll probably label it like guppy tank questions or something like that. So anyway, God bless you guys. Peace. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing now. Thank you, Lord.